Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Mindset Explosion, season two, episode two. I am here with the lovely Monica Vrublova. Well done. Yay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so today we're talking about new beginnings. So we've had a great chat, um, found out a little bit more about yourself. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit, see if anyone comes on. And I got like this habit, which I haven't done for a while. That's okay. My, my, we talked about habits as well. We did, we're and probably, we're going to pop on Yeah, it. so my habit is doing this and with a, and I invite some people in. I don't even know who they are. <laughs> Why not? Well, look, got to invite your mother in. That's very important. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's like that's my biggest fan. And some people you probably know as well. <laughs> Maybe yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, did you have a good Christmas? I had an amazing Christmas. Yes, good. I went home, spent it with my family. So yes, absolutely. Brilliant. Okay, let's get started. So people are joining as and when. Um, so we've had a hi, Amanda. How are you doing? Um, Hi, We've had a great chat, okay, and very, very inspiring, interesting story, Good. and I'm really looking forward to sharing this um, with everyone today as well. Me too. <laughs> so, so Monica, we've talked, and you would class yourself as a teacher. So, ta if you could share with a teacher of <laughs> teacher of, let's say, of your own well-being, of your your of your own enjoyment on your life journey. Right. Sort of um, teaching people to accept who they are, where they are right now at this point, yeah. and seeing how they can move forward if there are some areas that might not feel quite right. Yeah. So also teaching people how to openly express their feelings and emotions. Because yeah. I believe that if we hold any negative emotions inside, it evolves, it develops, yeah. and yeah. it can transform into a, some kind of an illness or sickness or yeah. you know stress or depression whatever it can be yeah it's important to really allow yourself to be who you are and if there is work to be done then work on it definitely it's kind of reminding me of something now and it was you can have the best meal and that one drop of poison it can kill you absolutely yeah. yes yeah, yeah. So that's you, so true yeah and if you don't deal with it so so um so in terms of that, when you're talking about feelings, you're, you're talking about everyday feelings, aren't you? Not, so it's not like in love, it's not with work, it's with, is it kind of across the... It is in general, really. It's, it's because we tend to live our life on a daily basis. Yeah. We tend to just get by. Yeah. Yes. There might have been something that bothered you in the past and it's still kind of at the back of your mind. Yeah. But you can just, just overlook it. But if that problem kind of keeps coming back to your mind ever so often and you know something keeps reminding mm -hmm. you and your body starts reacting to it in, in a forms of headaches or you know some kind of like heart palpitations, etc., whatever it can be, yeah. then that is a sign of needing to do something about it. Yeah. Yeah. So whether that is, you know, a real relationship, whether that is work, whether that is anything that you do socially that might not feel quite right yeah then that is something that needs to be explored and yeah. done something with yeah okay and what about um because I, I know some people at watch have had kind of accidents in the past so and they're kind of dealing with that motion i guess would that be the same sort of thing what kind of accident uh, i don't know if i can say <laughs> <laughs> but it just had like hit, say if it's a head injury or just in um well even a, an accident of a trauma accident of any kind so I guess that kind of can bring up feelings or, it can, or yes. you know, like a grief yes. process as yes. well. So. Well, the thing is, we all have different journey to experience. We yeah. have different things to learn throughout our life journey. So it's important to pay attention to how you're feeling on daily basis, how yeah. you're feeling long term. Yeah. Because anything that is happening to you, no matter what it is, it's meant to happen. Yeah. It's meant to teach you something. So whether it's an accident, you know, or whether it's like you meet someone who's giving you a really hard time yeah. and you're kind of like, oh, why is that yeah, person so yeah. rude to me? Yeah. Well, there is something you haven't learned yet. Yeah. There's something that you haven't accepted and haven't done anything with yeah. yet. So you need to, to move past that, mm -hmm. you've got to really stand still and listen to your inner self. Yeah. what it says where the issue is yeah. now it's really difficult because obviously we are conditioned by today's mm -hmm. society yeah. and and this century this manic century that we live in yeah. plus also how we've been raised what school we went to you know what job we have how we live our life everything else yeah so of course it, it's not as easy to really accept okay i've got a problem yeah i've got to do something about yeah. it you know and admit it, oh, that's another matter. I mean, that's the biggest thing, isn't it? Is actually saying, hey, I'm, this isn't right, 
Yeah. And I really need to do something about yeah. it. Like, like I used to be terrible at asking for help. So. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. And I never thought I would need it. But yeah. I have to say, when I got into business, mentors and coaches were the people that helped me the most yeah and the, the reason why i don't like being in put uh, being put into the box of coaches mentors or healers is yeah. because yet all of these techniques might take in place in order to help an individual yeah no it's really teaching you how you can yeah. explore more within yourself yes so whether that's you allowing those negative feelings and emotions come out yeah. that itself is a process of healing yes and it's not me, it's you allowing yes. it. Yeah, I agree. So... Yeah. And like we said earlier, we've got to make that choice. Yeah. And then you still got to make the choice to... Do something about it. Do something about it. And hey, this, this teaching makes sense. Let's give it a go. Go yeah. through with it. So. It's important because um, first, you need to admit to yourself that there is something that's not right. Yeah. And then you've got to be ready yeah. to actually do something about it. Yeah. People won't hear, people won't get help if they're not ready. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, so, and, and I think I've fallen in a trap to try and help someone, or people generally, because I want to help. Yes. And then they're not ready. <laughs> it backfires, doesn't yeah. it? So. Yeah. But it's also, we're like pushing our opinions yeah, and advice exactly, and yeah. everything, you know, to other yeah. people. But at the end of the day, it's all about how does that person feel? Yeah, Is agree. that really a good thing for them? Well, you saying to them, You've got to do this. This will be better for you to do. You know, yeah, don't yeah. act that way. You need to do that. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's that individual knows how they feel. Yeah. Well, no matter what you suggest for them, they don't have to do any of it. Yeah. Unless they're ready, unless they feel it's right thing to do for them, no, they don't have to do any of it. And most time, anyway, because we receive opinions of friends and family and colleagues and everyone, the media <laughs> and things. So, yeah. But most time, that that's just a reflection of their own experience, their own life, and Beliefs. what they heard Bob down the road say. <laughs> Pretty much. Right? Yeah. 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 So, um, okay, so, and you've been, because you're kind of on a, a new journey yourself. I am. So, but this isn't new, this isn't new for you, but <laughs> we're at the start of something. Is that kind of the best way of putting that, Monica? Or? It, is a, it is a new beginning. Yeah. I, I, I mean, this month, January, we are all about new beginnings. Yeah. Because, to be honest, every day is a new beginning. Hey, no matter what you do, mm -hmm. no matter what you experience, it is a new beginning. You've been a, given a gift of another day to live and experience. So basically what I decided after having four years of one business that towards the end turned out that it was not the right thing to do. I put so much effort, energy and everything else yeah. into it to make it happen and to make it perfect that I thought I'm not doing this again. Yeah, yeah. I'm not spending... <clears throat> all those months working hard creating business plan and everything else to get it perfect and launch it i thought no this is my life journey this is a story that i'm writing day by day yeah and i know that as a benefit massive benefit for everyone in what i'm doing so oh, i okay. thought let's just do it yeah. you know let's just write the page one by one day by one and see how it goes and so Although I've been on my journey myself, I've been struggling, you know, I felt stressed, depressed yeah. and everything else. Yeah. I finally can say that I came to acceptance of 100% who I am. Yeah. I'm not perfect, I will never be, mm. that's fine. But I can work on myself, yeah. I can develop and I accept where I am on my life journey. And that's what I would like everybody else to really come to terms with, yeah, yeah, you know. Because yeah. that is a beautiful place to be. Yeah, I agree. No matter what you do, no matter how hard life is right now, you don't have to stay there. Yeah. You know, and the truth is we need each other. We yeah. can help each other. Yes. To either lift ourselves up or bring ourselves down. Yes. But it's again down to an individual to make that decision. Yes. And so with what I'm creating, yes, we are writing the story page by page. Yeah. And yet it's not perfect. It's going to evolve. It's going to develop. And yeah. that is the point. That is the enjoyment of doing it. Yeah, I love you know? it. Yeah, because you got <laughs> Hey, like we've got to start yeah yeah <laughs> and have an idea where it's going to go but um uh, and, and of course you've got a plan but it's a uh, adaptable right so yes, yeah um, and you just never know you know plans no. might need adjustments yeah they do all the like time relationships family you know relationships whatever anything you know jobs you know everything kind of shifts you mm -hmm. onto another path onto another road yeah up the hill down the hill yeah and your 
job is to really learn about it. Yeah. Learn how it affects you, learn how it makes you feel, and make sure that you enjoy it, no matter what it is. The world's changed anyway. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, if, it, if it's a relationship, if it's a work, if it's a friendship, everything. If you sit on the riverbank, right? Yeah. And you stay still, don't move. Everything changes around you anyway. The grass will grow, the weather's going to change, the tide rises up, rises yeah, down. Still yeah, at some, the same place. you're still in the same place. But even then, your body's changing because we're yeah. getting older or whatever. Yeah. So, so we have to kind of, I feel, be aware of that and be able to work with that. But um, yes, exactly. otherwise, but it, it creeps upon us and the wave hits us and creeps us into. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you know, the truth is that if if, if things are coming back in a mm -hmm. different shape or form. But it's testing us, and you know it's giving us a hard time. That that means that there is something we haven't learned yet. I agree. Yeah, yeah. you know that is still something that we have not gone past yeah. yet. Um, I was reading Aunt Middleton, uh, Aunt Middleton book. Very good. Um, but something in there is that if you haven't dealt with your, um, uh, if you haven't dealt with your demons, then yeah. we can't. Um, there will be another one along the way. There will be, yeah, there will <laughs> yes. be. One uh, really, really lovely lady, I call her, call her an angel, and she helped me so much when it came to really finding the right balance yeah. within myself. Yeah. She said, never leave the job because of a person. Yes. Because there will be someone else yeah. at the next place yeah, who yeah. will be testing you the same way. Yeah. So Very true, actually. Don't run away no, from people right. that yeah, have a yeah. message for you. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've got to deal with that, definitely. <laughs> yes. So prior, so can we rewind a little bit? So how how did you get involved in all this? I don't know if we just said, but wh where were you? Because you're from Czech. Czech, yeah. Yes, I am from Czech, and I've been in the UK for eleven years. Yeah. And it's been a journey. <laughs> it has been a journey. Yeah. When I came, I didn't speak any English. Yeah. And I have to say, it was a struggle. I struggled to fit in. I struggled to accept the people around me. I struggled to accept how the country worked. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. And do you know what? From that person that I was, I was looking for other things that were wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the yeah. only thing I could have done was to put the mirror in front of myself. Yeah, but I guess you had to go through that as well, right? You have to. Yeah. yeah everyone has to go through a process of kind of like, it's not anybody else's fault no it's not fault from w what the system has no. been set up by, some, by someone else yeah it's how we pursue it yeah it's how we allow it to take advantage yeah. of us it, to some extent yeah. you know so i was on a journey and I, I learned english and it got all much easier when i was able to express how i thought what i was feeling you know and i was able to communicate um, then along the way I started my business which was a big surprise yeah. although it was a dream before I came to England to yeah. do that yeah it came with all challenges yeah and that's when the journey really started spinning around and yeah, yeah. up and down and I was <laughs> like oh my god this is just gonna <laughs> kill me literally and then I thought right hold on a minute it is becoming too much yeah it's causing me issues health issues that obviously my body showed signs of yeah and I thought, I can't continue this way. No. Life's too short. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, you know, I choose whether I allow something to stress me or depress me or whether yeah. I allow the person to make me angry. Yeah. You know, and I thought, I don't want it. No. So there was a breaking point where what I needed to do was to separate myself from everyone. Yeah. From everybody else's expectations, whatever they had. Yeah. Because of, you know, I have to say my story was... I did networking and I got the reputation out there about this is who I am, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. So changing that and stepping away from that was the hardest bit because that needed me to <clears throat> explore who was I yeah. really yeah. and what mattered to me, yeah. <clears throat> not to others. And uh, then when I got onto the journey, I felt very lonely. Yeah, I thought like there is no one else around me that understands how I feel, mm -hmm. you know, and and that's that's probably why I do what I do. Yeah, because we can feel that way. It yeah. doesn't matter how much money you have, how big your house is, what car you drive, you know, we are all human beings. Yeah, it's about how you enjoy what you have right now, right here. I agree. You know, agree. what you do today yeah. creates your tomorrow. Yeah, you know, if you are negative today, most likely you'll be negative tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Um, someone shared something like a bowl of fruit. Yeah. So it, it will spread on to others. Yeah. And and then that's going to come back to you as well. So it has a so, good, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just that one thing. So, yeah. um, but you're absolutely right. Um, 
uh, and talking to some friends last night, they, they were telling me a story, or one of them telling me a story about um, someone that obviously took his life. So I obviously got to that point. No one had a clue because in everyone that I saw his perfect family, perfect house, the perfect job, and financially was sound. It's not everything. I, think, I have yeah. to say, this is the, the most shocking mm -hmm. thing that can be happening. Yeah. A, no one has any right to take their own life because it's your gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But on the other hand, again, that comes down to the beginning of what we were saying. Yeah. We are not taught to be able to express our true emotions and feelings. Because mm -hmm. if we did, then this would not be happening. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there is always help somewhere. Yeah. You know, but we still, even in this century, we see it as a weakness. Yeah. No, it's not a weakness. You yeah. are a human. You are right to cry. You are right to be angry. You are right to say how you feel. Yeah. And, you know, without being judged. And I think sometimes that's the key. I think sometimes, um, and maybe it's a little bit my own experience, where you, 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 try, and, you, you try and express something out with someone. Um, but it, it's not, and it's not their fault. Yes, it's not. It's that... It's my fault that when they gave me the, the opinion that was you didn't expect didn't it. care or yeah didn't, or you know what I mean Maybe so it hurts. yeah yeah, it yeah said something hurtful about it yeah. um, and I think that's one of the things I learned is it was it was okay well that's their opinion and but instead of I'm kind of going back a bit now so so what what then prevented me was then ever doing it again. Yeah. So the point where yeah. I wasn't talking, <laughs> everyone yeah. thought I, everything was great, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it wasn't great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that, that's where I think you need to go and see the right people. I agree. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, even though it would be lovely to have friends and family to yeah. be the people, mm -hmm. they're not. No. Because they have certain image of you. They know you uh, too well. Yeah. They, they think they know you that, that yeah. well that what they suggest is going to be the best for uh -huh. you. But you know, when it when it comes to like being open to yourself, you need someone who doesn't know you. You I need someone agree. Who, yeah. who will not judge you for feeling that yeah. way because it is okay. Yeah. It, it's the truth. Yes. That's why I named it TTS True Time. Right. You've got to be true to yourself. Yeah. You know, and if you don't have anyone else around you that you can do that with, yeah. You know, when you walk away, you feel. <sighs> yeah. And it comes another poison. Yeah. 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 So. No. So it's really hard, but I have to say there was a friend who said like within two weeks, three people committed a suicide. Yeah. And I thought, you know, even now I get goosebumps when I think about mm -hmm. it, like, you know, those human beings still could be here yeah. if they had somewhere to go and got help, yeah. you know, yeah. plus young generations these days, I have to say we are really in a position of being a massive example to them how to live their life. You know how to accept themselves for who they are mm -hmm. and I was talking to two students a girl and a boy 17 and 18 these are leaders of our country yeah one day yeah and both of them are struggling with stress and depression and anxiety mm -hmm. and both of them were on antidepressants already yeah and I thought where is the world heading mm -hmm. you know like why is it so difficult to actually I think it just goes down? with shifts anyway yeah. and I, we're probably on a Brexit that's, that's gonna shift things people are gonna feel differently about it and it's weird I've kind of gone off on one now but I don't know I've noticed that people put their Christmas decorations up a lot earlier last year yeah they did yeah I have to say I did too I had like my little <laughs> Christmas party at the end of it's November nothing wrong with, with it. I just found it quite <laughs> curious and I I'm presuming but I wondered if it was to do with a lot of uncertainty in the country but one thing we're quite certain about is that Mostly, most people. What will happen? Yeah, it's the, the Christmas thing. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think uh, it's kind of stretching like, a little bit. Mm. You know, the shops are obviously pushing the sales much sooner to get more sales. <laughs> but I mean, for me personally, I love the time coming up to Christmas. Exactly, right? I love seeing the Christmas yeah. tree and looking at the lights and you're just feeling the atmosphere that, you know, there is that evening that will come. Yeah. A, that Jesus was born and B, that we will be together with the family. Yeah having peaceful time, mm -hmm. you know, giving little gifts to each other. I mean, for me, the best present this Christmas was that I could spend it with my family. You went back home? Yes, I yeah. did. So, you know, and, uh, and you can't buy that. No, I agree. You just have to experience Yeah, and, and that's what I want from my children, really, is to be able to appreciate the, the time that they, not so much with the gifts. I, I didn't go as crazy um, yeah. this year or last year, so. Gifts uh, are okay, and they, you know, they, they are little things make a difference. Yeah. But 
No, what matters is the presence. Yeah. The presence of being with each other. I think it's the experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like that is the same thing. So yeah. yeah, that experience, isn't it? So, um, all right, went off on one end. So <laughs> let's come back. So with the teaching that you do, so what I quite liked when we were talking just before the interview, wow, we've been going nearly a half hour, <laughs> 25 minutes, I think, um, yeah. is, okay. um, is how you take people out of their comfort zone and they're not just sat in a chair. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. so the process is completely different than just uh, just a session where we sit across each other, you yeah. know, and I'm there to listen to you and you're there to share your problems. No, that's not how it works. Yeah. I remember and what motivated me was when I ha was having my mentoring sessions. At some point I really hated just the idea of sitting in the chair in the same spot and having the same discussions. Therefore my body went no i don't want that feeling anymore yeah. so with every single session and that's why it's normally seven to eight sessions and every single one will take a different place different location yeah and there will be different interactions and different kind of theme to it you know yeah just to really take the body and mind on a journey of something is happening something is changing because if that is a problem most likely change has to take it its place in order for the problem to deal with it efficiently or to just kind of accept it and let it go. Yeah. You know, so every single session will be very personalized. It will be at a different location, whether that at some point might include walking. Walking is really good. Yeah. You know, I because agree. you focus on walking on what's around you, you know, mm -hmm. and walking in nature is great. Yeah. Because if you don't have any distractions, such as billboards or shops or people or cars yeah. or whatever, yeah. our brain is constantly busy thinking. Mm -hmm. So you do need to quiet that mind. In yeah. order to come out yeah. with what the problem is. Yeah. So I, I'm really excited about even doing some exercises with people because that will take you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I can imagine that you, you don't do star jumps at, you know, like coaching session or somewhere. <laughs> you know, and even even that, you know, you're smiling. But yeah. if you get into a subject that is really difficult to talk about, doing something like that will take your mind completely off that. Yeah. You know? Uh, do, you know do you ever listen to uh, Auntie Robbins? Yes, of course yeah. I do. Yeah, I've been I, I, listening to him in the yeah, past five okay, days. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to have to book in. But I just, you just reminded me of something. I think it was him where uh, um, it was a lady come in talking about her relationship where she wasn't happy with her husband. And I don't know if it's true, but he, she started, oh, he's this and he's blah, blah, blah. And he picks up some water and chucks it in her face. Have you heard that one? No. And she's like, what did you do that for? He's like, I'm sorry, but you're just going on a bit too much. And it's like, carry on. So he gives her a towel or something. I, d I don't know the story. Yeah, it might yeah. be someone else, but I just remember this story. So I, I don't think I'll be throwing. No, no, one. I don't. <laughs> um, but but, but the point was, it was it took her. It yeah. changed her thought process. It was like a, a pattern interrupt, yeah, yeah. and then she was she was able to look at it differently, and then they yeah. fulfilled out their relationship rather than because she was on the edge of like see and, you later. And that's exactly what I mean. It's like you know with relationships is. Each coin has got two sides. Yeah, I agree. Each coin. And yeah. if communication yeah. is lacking in the yeah, relationship, yeah, yeah. nothing will work. Yeah, I If you can't, right. and again, that comes down to being true to yourself, yeah. how you feel, yeah. and being able to express it with your partner. I mean, you're choosing someone to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah. Then and and the thing is, it's going to change. It, you know, we know a relationship is really at the beginning, yeah. but people change as well. Because their career may change, which children you're going to change. Even if the career doesn't change, which I staff because it will, even yeah. if you stay in the same job, because new people are going to come in, you get influenced by those. Yeah. So we we go and with age and fears and exactly. anxieties, everything. Yeah. yeah. But it's important to allow it. Yeah, I know. And to you share have it to. and talk about yeah, it. Yeah, totally. Because if you don't, then yeah. you're holding it in. Yeah, totally. And then of course, then so at some point it's going to build up and explode. Yeah, totally. And most likely that will be, in the best opinion, yeah. kind of an argument. Yeah. In divorce scenario it'll be a divorce yeah so you know again that, that is we've got the choice yeah what do you want to do uh, and if you need <clears throat> if you feel that feel the, feel the need that you need to go elsewhere to moan and complain about mm -hmm. your husband now you need to go to the source yeah exactly communicate with the person yeah. and if the person is not listening then something is not right yeah exactly but it's up to you to make the first step yeah so well, I think we've got to take the responsibility and I've made my own mistakes on that yeah. side of things anyway um, and no one's perfect. Oh, no, it's definitely fine, not. You know. No, and I think, um, and, and again, I, I talked, talked about the, the chimp paradox, but something that's stuck in there is not to expect anything from people. 
because that does cause problems. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, you've got, it's knowing what you, you need. And but if, if someone, you can't change someone. If, no, um, no. So it's but you have the choice. You have the choice yeah. and accept yourself for who you are, yeah. accept the other person for exactly. who they are yeah. and see how you can find the right balance yeah. and enjoyment along the way. Yeah. You know, what's the point if yeah. you don't enjoy spending time with that exactly. person? Exactly. And on that note, it, one of the things they said was write a list. So, and you do all the things that um, you love about this person. Yeah. So, and then fold that column over. Then there's the things that, uh, it's a bit annoying, but I can live with it. And work on that list as well. <laughs> work on that one, but that one's okay. But the next one is, it annoys me, but I can't live with it. That's the drop of poison. Because yeah, we're we'll we'll going to look at the, the bigger list of why this is so wonderful. And it, it, yeah, I think it was a very good piece of advice. Um, but I think and not expect to change that. You can talk about it, so yeah. and then it's up to them to say, okay, um, and it, that's okay. Yeah, we went quite deep there. We did, <laughs> but the relationships are deep, Adam Day, because you know when love gets involved and everything else with it. But relationship isn't always about love because, like, we've created a relationship now just by talking. In my opinion, if I go to the shop and I buy a Mars bar, I interact with that person, and I may never see them again, but it's still a relationship. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes, so very true. So it's important yeah. how we affect each other exactly. when we spend. That, that that's like one of the deepest uh, truths that I like that you know, we are responsible for how we make each other feel. Yeah. For that moment, that precious moment that we have right now, you're gonna remember me yeah. for how I made you feel, yeah. for what we talked about. Yeah. So being rude to somebody, shouting at somebody. Yes. Mm. Uh -uh. Yeah. And again, it's a choice. Yeah. So you know, why would we waste that energy in that field yeah. when we can choose to be nice to people? And guess what? What you put out there comes back. Yeah, definitely. I, one of my friends said it takes effort to be angry. It does. Doesn't it? it doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> it takes effort to hate. It takes effort to blame. It takes effort to not take account. Totally true. So, totally and it, true. And don't get me wrong, it's still, it's not like it's effortless to be happy. Do you know what I mean? But, um, yes, yes. But it's a choice of which which one we're going to go. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So listen, we've talked quite a long time. So thank you for been watching this long. Um, how if someone wants to get in contact with you and just maybe they're curious or hey oh, this sounds perfect i need to i need this absolutely yeah. um there is an email address so you can email me and i will pick it up and come back to you yeah um there is also a website that you can explore and have a read through so that you know a little bit more about me and what we are doing i don't think we put that on the thing so if you drop that in the yes, comments absolutely yeah. i'll yeah. put it in the comments yeah um and yes one thing i will tell you the moment for you to do something is now. If you keep waiting yeah. till tomorrow, till next month, till you get paid, till next year, mm -hmm. or till when you are 40, it's what if then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. moment to live enjoyable life is now. Yeah. And I, I think January is a good time. It is a good time. Because I think we've reflected on the year that's gone by. Yeah. And, and I think yesterday I said, you know, look ahead. So what a lot of people do the social media post or video. What is it that they want to write for this year looking exactly. back? So definitely get in contact with Monica. And, yeah. and you know, if there's, I think, I don't even think if you've got um, emotions anyway, is it? It's for anyone, would you say? It is for anyone, yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. So it's not like you've got to be at the rock bottom, is it? It's no, not, no, it's when you, when you feel that you are ready yeah. to be true to yourself, and do something about whatever issue yeah. you challenge or anything that might be really like bothering you, then that is for you. And I think if you're at the start of another journey as well, I think it, yeah. I think this would be yeah. great for anything. I, I mean, for, I've, yeah. I've done business and yeah. you know, I understand business. Yeah, so yeah. I know how tough it is to be in business, to manage the team, to be efficient, to have a, a sort of a social life, family life and find the right balance over there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, I've had to become quite strict with my timetable. Yeah. So I know that there is a way of really learning and teaching yourself how to be time efficient so that you can enjoy that time with those that you love and do what you love without feeling guilty that you're not working. Yeah, definitely. So. And I've seen some names popped up on here that are viewing that um, I haven't spoke to you or chatted to you and some I've done with interviews with. I think they get a lot from 
you'll, cut, um, you'll teach him. I think hard so. work. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. All right, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please share, of course, and if you've got any questions, uh, drop them in the comments below. Um, drop in an explosion emoji, hashtag mindset explosion. What's your emoji? My emoji. Yeah, have you got one? <laughs> is the, I would say, love, peace, and happiness. I'll put them up there. Yeah, brilliant. It's the free ones that brilliant. are just, yeah, right. the best ones. Drop okay. that in. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Peace, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.